Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today this is round two video of our Pivot XT case study in Albion, Nebraska with our Pivot XT. It's our Pivot XT behind us on the end tower of this pivot. We showed you this in June when we were here. Uh, corn was waist high at the time, and now it's over the top of my head. Um, I'm a dirty mask because I've already been through the corn. We had about a tenth of rain this morning, just enough to get everything wet and make it wet when you're walking through the corn, but it's gonna be 102 this afternoon, so I'll take it for right now. Um, we were standing in this spot in June and showed you our Pivot XT versus the 11238 on the next tower over, uh, just in terms of you know rutting and the differences that you're gonna see and you can expect. Um, this pivot's now at 10 passes for the season on this field, and the corn is at the brown silk stage, so Cobs are starting to fill. This is a really critical time for yields and determining how good a crop you're about to have. Um, there's a lot of water going down on this field. As you can see, not just from the pivot, but there was a couple of rains that, you know, two inches um, or in and around that, that mark, which, you know, washed dirt from down uh, up off the hills and it's now down in this low spot. So um, we're gonna turn the pivot on here after this, but basically you'll see the XT going through this low spot, a couple other spots in the field, and really just start to compare now that the corn is as tall as it is and as many rounds as there's been, uh, really can start to compare that XT versus the uh, 11238 beside it. So stay tuned. We're gonna show you the track depth next in this spot. We're also gonna go over to the low silty spot um, that we, we showed you before where there's just a huge wide spot of silt that the XT is going through with the end tower and then the 11.2 beside it. So we're gonna compare track depth in this video and just overall performance so you can kind of see and start to tell the tale of the XT versus an 11.238 pneumatic tire. Okay, so you can see the pivot in the background. Um, corn's pretty tall, so we're trying to make the best of what we can do to you know, really show you with with dodging corn stalks in between, you know, the pivot track at this point of the season. Um, we're on the uphill side of the pivot, the standing on the hill where it's got to climb out of the low spot here. Um, you can basically see that there is a, a, a track, you know, basically I can tell the distinctive lug pattern um, of the tire in the track. And actually half the track is almost getting made from the runoff that happens from a heavy rain event um through the middle of the track so um difficult to say is it the track or the tire making the track uh deeper or is it the um the runoff from the water but uh, i'd say we're you know average track depth is maybe two inches give or take here on the hill climbing out um and that's at the very lowest you know on the sides at zero um, so it just kind of depends on which part of the, the track I'm measuring, but you know, you can see from the video yourself exactly what the track looks like. And, um, we're going to take this now though, and go over to the same spot where the 11238 is climbing out of the hill. And, you know, you can kind of see the difference between the two starting to form. Uh, we'll show that to you next. So, um, I'm actually standing over top and straddling the 11238 track right now. You can see the track depth difference already between the 11238 and our Pivot XT after 10 rounds. We're just gonna do the best we can to show you the track just because of how the corn is at this time of year. You can actually pretty much lose an ankle in this track at this point, um, maybe a little deeper in some spots, but uh, clearly you're, you're really kind of starting to see the differences form between 11238 pneumatic and our Pivot XT. I mean, my, my philosophy is, you know, rather than deal with the track, just in track depth and go taller with a tire, it's really just about get rid of the track altogether and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we're in a low spot of this field and just wanna show you, you know, the end towers here, Pivot XT is about to come through, but before we turn on the water, just wanna really show you that this is something that a pivot tire has to navigate on a regular basis. Basically, this is an area that the tire's been going through regularly. You know, there's a, a track coming in, a track going out, but nothing in the middle. Well, it's because the heavy rains come through here and blown all this dirt and material out off the hills and into this low spot. Important to note that, you know, you need a tire that can handle that kind of adversity throughout the season because, you know, the pivot is gonna be in one side of the field or the other, and then rain's gonna come through, might be an inch, two inches, whatever the case is. And if it's gonna move material like this, the next time that that tire comes around, it has to deal with that heavy silt that just got laid down by the storm. But just remember the importance of needing a tire that can handle that kind of 
adverse and constantly changing situation. It's not like you just keep going round and round in circles and things never change. This is an example of change in the field and that the tire needs to be able to handle it. Okay, so we're standing in the low spot where the 11238 is going through. Uh, just over there is where the Pivot XT is going through. Not that bad in the bottom. The only thing I would note is that, you know, the silt washed through that low spot as well, except the track was deep enough to where it didn't fill it all the way in. Whereas over where the XT was, it was completely filled with silt. Okay, so we're on the coming down high side of the Pivot that's right behind me. And uh, that is the 11238 that's been running. Um, you can see the track there. And again, same kind of story as the other side. I can actually, you know, step down into it and get my ankle into it all the way or a little bit more. So very similar results coming down the hill and then as it is coming out of the hill. But having said that, maybe slightly less track uh, coming in just because that tire is not trying to, you know, power grip its way and get up the hill, which is going to lead to a little bit deeper rut. Um, but this is what we got going on here. Let's again go back to the end tower where we have our Pivot XT and uh, look at the track difference right in front of that tire so that we can kind of compare apples to apples. This is the track compared to the 11238. Um, you can see the lugs in it, but it's significantly shallower than uh, what that 11238 was. I mean, I could put my, my foot in it and it's still goopy and messy underneath, um, but I'm not losing an ankle. I'm probably like ankle height or just a little less than that, depending on where I'm standing. That's where we're at after 10 rounds in this, in this field. Uh, let's go check out the other spot. Okay, so we're in the biggest low spot of this field here in Albion with our Pivot XT running. Um, in this portion of the field, this is straight up loon shit, and that's the best way to call it. Um, I'm standing on it, it's hard packed, but uh, if I was to put my foot in there, <laughs> which maybe I should just do and show you, um, you, you know, you're gonna sink out of sight. So like, yeah, I'm, there you go. My boots are covered in mud and I'm, I'm already muddy, so I really don't care at this point today. Um, but having said that, <laughs> Yeah, this is just like straight silt and gumbo in this portion of the field because all the heavy rains that come in here comes off the hills down into here and then just pushes through. So like this is the end tower section of this and we'll walk back and look at the 11.2. This is the track that our, our Pivot XT tire made through here. Um, distance across from over here to my right all the way down to the left is about 60, 65 yards. And that tire is fighting that all the way through, that grease and gumbo. Um, now with that tread pattern, the way it's designed, you know, it's designed to be staggered so that it's constantly breaking up that ridge gumbo and getting it through here. It's, we're about 10 passes on this pivot so far in this location and going through here and it hasn't been stuck yet. The farmer has, has said that he hasn't had to look at this pivot at all, so he's pretty happy. There is a track here, I'm not gonna lie, but if you're sinking like that um, with my foot, then there's gonna be a track. Uh, really what I care about is how far did it go? Did it get stuck? But the pivot still has to make it through here to keep going around and doing the rest of the field. So this is where we're at. We're gonna show you some highlights of the track here, and then we're gonna walk you over to the 11238 and show you that. and. Uh, to show you the differences between the two in this situation. Okay, so this is the 11238 track. We're about 20 yards across with this track. Come down the hill, go in, and come out. So, you know, you can tell the two different trains, the difference between each other. So the track is gonna be very similar. It's a little bit narrower, um, just because of, you know, the, the width of the tire. Um, we're at 10 passes going um, on this pivot around the field and this is where we're at in this stage of the season. So we'll come back and see how this progresses throughout the season. Okay, so just to kind of summarize things and wrap things up here, this is our case study with the Pivot XT in Albion, Nebraska. On average in your field, uh, going up and down hills, we're starting to see the XT rut less than an 11238. Um, again, you know, you saw my ankle going into the track of the 11238, it was below my ankle. On the XT, it was kind of like ankle height or a little less. You know, we're seeing less rutting overall. If we go over to the other spot, which is where the XT was really needed for this field, I'd say that it's hard to tell the difference in that particular spot. Now, I will say that our tire is going through three times the length of crappy area versus uh, the 11238, but 
overall, I think, you know, we're starting to see some patterns develop and uh, we plan on coming back here once a month until the corn's off. So, you know, we're really gonna get a full picture by the time we're all done here. Um, but I really just start to think that we're starting to see some of those storylines develop. We're gonna show you again and again and again how the Pivot XT performs compared to an 11238 pneumatic tire in hills, in low ground, and all kinds of different terrain in this field. I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel. We'll talk to you soon.